Hello and welcome back to the Butterfly Dam Park, which is looking quite amazing, uh, to be honest. Well, actually it isn't. <laughs> I mean, it looks quite crap, but... Well, you know, I find the terrain challenge quite interesting, and the fact that I have to kick up the whole park planning and all that... Uh, it's quite enjoyable actually, even though I feared and dreaded it at first, it's quite good. And what further adds to that is the fact that we pretty much only have amazing rides. Wow! <gasps> oh my god, 4.3! <laughs> the mania of tracks is amazing! Oh, that's good. I didn't really thought it would be this good. So. Unlike, you know, the previous parks where half of the tracked rides were crap, this time all our tracked rides are good. Well, that one didn't get a boost in the ratings, but still. Now, we are halfway through year two. We are also halfway through our park space. Look, see, this half is empty. And, uh, well, this half is filled up. But we can build underground, so I think that we might actually have enough space for our whole park. Despite uh, me thinking it would be way too small at first, turns out we might ha actually have enough. So that's good, and um, well, you know, seeing how we're halfway through year two, I think right now would be another excellent moment to do a nice pricing check. So that's what we'll do. Remove the trees, and wow, wait, hold on a second. That's not good. That's a lot of, of vomit. Like, way too much vomit, really. I think the handy dude should come around pretty soon, though. So, I'm not gonna worry too much about it just yet. Also because I don't really see any vandalism at the moment. So, that's the only reason I'm thinking that he got it under control, but... Well, you know, I'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, we'll put the gas back here. Yeah, look at this. This needs its pricing adjusted, you know, because this is not making us any money. Look at the profit it made. It's not a whole lot, really. So, uh, we'll put this to 50 cents, and uh, that's good. Same for this one, you know, the Haunter Mansion, or <laughs> the House of Fleet. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, let's not make it more expensive. Though, for some reason, this one, well... I'd rather go in this than go in a Haunter Mansion. I mean, I think this is the lamest right design ever. Well, there are exceptions, and <laughs> that's even more lame. But, you know, you'd figure that this would be more profitable than this. Turns out it isn't. Quite a surprise to me, though, but when the Haunter Mansion has, you know, well, seen its best days in terms of the pricing. And so is the Flow Montour. So, we'll lower that. I want to lower that to like two and a half bucks. Ah, uh, we'll just do two bucks. We got 14 grand, so I think that in terms of profit making, we're quite alright. Space rings, yeah, to this totally needs adjusting. <laughs> Though it did make even more profit than the Galopa ride. <laughs> That's strange. Ah, well, fine. It is what it is. Um, The car ride, yeah, car ride's all good. This is all freshly built stuff, so that should not need any pricing adjusting. And rowing attraction is also still luring in guests, so doing all right there. Uh, let's get this back up here right now. I know I've got some normal view in here. So, the plan is to build a coaster over here that's going to be underground for the most part. Though I do think it would be cool if it would just shoot out, maybe like over here you know and then have a massive drop down back in the underground where it belongs i don't know we'll have to see though but i do think it would be quite cool if it would go uh above ground you know just uh, for a few moments though the majority of it should be underground oh, excuse me i touched my mic um so yeah that's the plan but we also need a few more facilities over here because like over here is where the facilitated area of our park ends. And then there's this whole area. The void of bathrooms, drink stalls, swag stalls, and all the other merchandise that I want to sell off, uh, scam onto my guests. So, we'll get a few of that. Starting with the bare essentials, uh, like a toilet. Could I build that over here? Yeah, <laughs> alright, well, that's decided. Uh, what we're also gonna need is, uh, I think actually that we might want to have another information thingy right in the corner over there. 
That is if I can fit it in. Yes, I can. Right then. Oh, uh, this is another thing. I don't know whether I, or not I put this to pricing. Yeah, I did. Good. So that that's good. Then we'll have these umbrellas be a bit brighter blue. I will open this up. Um, then I think a souvenir thingy would also be quite good. Say like on this end of the park. Now over here, I'm pretty sure we're not going to hook up anything to that area. And we will make this, this kind of murky, turquoise, kind of blue type. Well, well, we'll just say it's blue, I'm not really sure on that. And we'll heighten that so we can put another, well, food type stall there. And I think that this one is quite cool. We got one at the beginning area, so we might put one over there now. I think that's warranted. Then, how about, can I... And I can't see anything here. I don't know. If I can hide that... Is that any good? No, it's not. <laughs> That's not really the thing that I need to hide. That is, though. I want to have a drink stall over there. So, look at that. That's amazing. The fact that that fits in there is perfect. Right then, I think that that's pretty much all the facilities that we need over here taken care of. How are the eggheads in the research department doing? Oh, <laughs> we're getting a monorail. <laughs> Great! Totally not needed. Let's take a look at our agenda rides. These and these are things we don't have. Same for the circus show. This one, pretty nice. More like that. This one, we don't have. Same for that. That. I can't, well, there, I know that there's the monorail and there is the, um, the cycle thingy that <laughs> doesn't even go up in height levels, you know, it's just a flat ride. By the way, did they? No, it's just a regular monorail, so that should show up in here. But I think that that's pretty much it. Oh, there's miniature golf. So we might get that, but then I think we should have all the gentle rides. Well, that's good, but we don't really need any coasters. So we're just going to keep researching them till <laughs> we can't. And then there's, well, there's no excuse to not research any roller coasters. But first, speaking about which, we're going to build it. The roller coaster. And it's going to be a wooden one. You know, it's a good intermediary one. And I think we should be able to get it grand or close up to grand with 14k. So... Well, then there is the issue of the station. I want that actually to be a little bit below the path so that we can have both the exit and the entrance it can be completely underground. So, uh, first of all, let's get an entry point to the underground, like there. And uh, then we'll lead the track to where we want it to be underground. Right then, um, we're gonna have it be at height 6. I think at height 6 we are pretty safe to do whatever we want with it really. So, I don't want it to be too far away from the path. This is already quite far, but it's good. You know, we can make a good queue size with this. So, station them. Right, here we go. Look at that massive length. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Uh, anyway, we will put this over here. Wow, we even need to raise the land for that. Fine, do that. Is that good enough? No. Fine, like that? Is that good enough? Yeah, it is. Well, this shouldn't be an issue, really, but put it over there. Close to the station's end, so that we can have a safety mechanic who will actually be good at his job. And look at how cool this is going to be. Drop right from the get-go. Yeah, I'm liking that. I don't get that every day. A drop to rock bottom. Wow, this park man is full of surprises. Uh, then I think it would be quite cool if we go over here with a lift. Yeah, it should, it should be able to just pick this lift, really. You know? It shouldn't be, like, too high or anything. Uh, we might get some interference now with other rides. No? No, <laughs> apparently not. Uh, I was fully expecting it, though, but... 
Nope, <laughs> not happening. Fine. We'll take it. Uh, no interference is good, I guess. Yeah, we're actually already too high up, so... Well, we will just go down then, I guess. And yeah, this area is a bit difficult to build in because there's a lot of, you know, this mouse coaster track there already. It's kind of not really what I need there, but fine. Look at that, though. <laughs> so far, everything is completely underground. Can we have this underground? No, we can't. And we also don't have the splash section. So we're just gonna have to make do with the current track design. That's alright though, I mean, current track design is good. Let's see. We go up here right now. Yeah, we're going above our own track. I like that. Now well, that's leading to issues because... Oh, good question. <laughs> because I don't, can't answer that for now. Our highest point though, kind of lost that already. But it seems to be height 14, so we should have some speed, but it's nothing stellar. So I'm feeling safe to do it like this. And I kind of want to go up now with a lift to resurface from like... Oh, balls, but that's the coasting. I should be able to just go above it like this. Yeah, works. Oh, but then there's the station. Crap. Oh no, we're going above the station. How cool is that? Alright, so because we're going above the station. Oh, yeah, no, we... Alright, um, this will require some massive terraforming. But we are gonna do that. That should do it though, right? Why is it not working? Raise or lower the land? Can I lower it one more? No. Oh, now I'm wasting money like crazy. It's not working. Yeah, alright, so that's not gonna happen really. Oh, now it is. Okay. I don't know what was up with that, but oh, we might actually just be completely underground at the moment. Yeah, all right. So that explains it. All right. So this isn't this isn't just not gonna happen. I need to get this out of my mind, really. Uh, same for that. Balls. Oh man, that that is a real shame, though. I would have loved to have that happen. Oh, what we could try and do, and this is a bit of the other extreme. <laughs> okay. Uh, so far, this coaster might... I don't know. Um, it's a bit iffy, uh, the way it's going right now. I don't know if this will lead to any place good or bad. Yeah. Crap. Right, oh, we could try the other side then. Uh, right, so we'll do that. <laughs> oh, man, I just so want this feature in here. It's just, yeah, I really, really want that. So, let's make this a little bit smaller. Tree in the way. Be gone, tree. Yeah, now there's not a tree in the way anymore. Knew that. Totally called it. Right, and right now we're going right beside the path. So that should count for something. With zero speed to speak of. But we can go underground now again. Which should cast for speed and for coolness. Alright, so look. Which I oh, we will oh balls. I should have lowered it one more. Though I seem to be yes there. Alright then. Going good so far. This is actually... Oh, wow, it's actually happening. Look at this. And now we have a massive drop. How cool. We just go barely above ground here, but... Look, <laughs> wouldn't... Well, all right. <laughs> we'll not mention that, but... Wow. Amazing. Freaking cool. Those are the only descriptions that I have for what I think of this coaster right now. Especially because it comes from height 24. Oh, and you know what would be 
Oh man, I got... Oh, it's a shame this doesn't have a steep uh, curve though. But what we're gonna try and do is this. Look, I got a plan for this. <laughs> oh man, that, this is amazing. This is really, really cool. Classic wooden coaster designs incorporated in the dam. Why is that not happening? Oh, of course. There's a river rapids in the way. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, what's that mid? Uh, there's, of course, again, the river rapids. That's alright, though. Uh, no, it's not really. I think that this is amazing, though. But kind of wanted it to just go down here. It's not gonna happen, though. So, this is cool. But we do need to get away from this area. Not happening like that, though. I'm fearing that we have way too much speed to pull that off. So, it will have to be a curved... Curve? <laughs> or a banked curve, I mean. Uh, and then, let's see if we can get this back into the underground. Where it needs to be. Wow, that ghost train is pretty high up there. I didn't figure it would be so high. Yeah, that's not happening, so... This right. If we can now go back on the ground, then we're gonna stay on the ground. I don't feel the need to resurface again because it's already quite, quite tough to build this one. So good. Let's stay. Oh no, that that's gonna be an issue though. So maybe, yeah. You know what? Like this, that should work, doesn't it? Uh, maybe just one liter. Yeah, that does work. Fine. Fine. Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> Balls. I, I don't know what it is. It's difficult, this one. Pretty Proving to be pretty tough, if uh, I'm honest. Well, we could always go to the other side, of course. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> uh, Alright. And then, if we go around over here... We need, I think that right now we have made quite a cool track, right? I mean, I think we can all agree with that. So how about we see this one back to the station? The station is over here-ish. And have I just made it like next to impossible for me to actually get back to that station? I can totally see myself doing something like that. At least it's proving to be difficult from over there. Alright, so we can go above the station at the moment. It's a bit difficult to see where the crap I need to be, but fine. Um, let's see here. Can I go down one? No, it's not solving anything. Creating more problems, really. Can I do it like this, though? And then have a curve like so. If I now go up. Now that's still the roller coaster, of course. Crap. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, so that's not, also not gonna happen. However, what if we extend this a bit and then have it be more like this now I have one more space to go above our own track it's also not happening what if I change the view a bit and do this magic button oh wow look at look at this this is this is the view that I need it really so I know what we need to do now we just need to go up to height 6 look then we'll curve it around. And if I now manage to go above our own track... No. Well, I think if I go one up... Okay, that's not gonna happen. So I now go one down, and then just remove one station piece. Build this backwards. Look! Wow, we have ourselves a coaster. I think with a pretty cool track design as well, it goes to a lot of places. So I'm having high hopes for this one. 
And, uh, well, let's see, you know, let's see what the ratings will be. And you guys check out that test ride, <laughs> if you can see anything of it, really. Well, I go and hook this up, right? Pretty cool, though. I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah, should be, should be decent-ish. <laughs> Hoping, <laughs> twisting my thumbs here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Alright, I'll need to heighten that. Lower that. Still not above ground though. Kind of do want this to be above ground so I at least have like a visual indication of the amount of peeps in the queue. Alright, it's making the drop now the coast there. It's good. Uh, I'll just go underground with the queue over here. No, not, not like that. We'll go underground over here. Mm, actually, this coaster might not be all that and exciting when you think of it. There's a lot of a lot of it is just lift. We're not really doing all that much with the speed in it. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just thinking too negative of it at the moment. I also kind of noticed how we are. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Yeah, but we were indeed one height level too low. This is a good Q size, though. How at the rate... Ooh, we were right on the money. Look at that. It's not grand, but then again, <laughs> we didn't really spend all our monies on it. But it is damn good. 7.4. That is really good. So, we're gonna up the pricing of this up to 7. Yeah, no, not 7.5. 7. .5, 7. Well, we're not finished with it yet, because we also need an exit path. Kind of crucial, you know, if we ever want to see our gas back again. Also, how's the vomit cleaning over here? It's still not done. Alright, I need to get an extra handy dude for this area, because clearly the one who I set to do that is not up to the job. You only patrol this area. Only that one. Good. Uh, right, we were making the exit path here, yeah. That's what we were doing, and I need the rides <laughs> visible, otherwise I'll never find this exit in all this crap here. Uh, let's see. That wait, wait, wait! Cat, get your ass back here, screen. Uh, I don't know really, I kinda need... The I think I got the exit right now. It's a bit hard to see though, but fine, I guess. Alright, well, we'll raise or lower the land as requested. Like this, and if I go straight now, what should happen is, yeah, it hooks up. That's what I want. Alright, admittedly, we don't have a lot of benches right, uh, you know, straight leading out of the exit, but that's alright. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the guests will just have to fight for the benches that are present, so... <laughs> Good. Well then, um, I think that it is time that we set up this coaster. Roller Coaster 1. Well, actually, Roller Coaster 4. You are amazing. I think that, the, you know, the fact that it comes out of the dam is pretty cool. And also this over here, you know, it's just these little peaks above ground. I think that is what makes this a good coaster. Because in terms of track, we didn't really go overboard with them. Though there is also, well, you know, I might be neglecting all the tracks that we have in the underground. Though, <laughs> can you see them? I sure can't. <laughs> but this view is it, pretty good. Quite liking it. Right then, we need to name this coast here, which we will do. And we will call this um, the Grand Damage Dam. <laughs> da oh wow, <laughs> Grand Dam Edge. <laughs> the Grand Damage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how did I not come up with this earlier? <laughs> cool. Well, it is our highest rated coaster, pretty much. So we'll have to open it up. And let's just get the proper view on things. And do we have... Oh, we only have two trains. I don't want that. 
Though I think that that's pretty much what we're going to have to go with. Otherwise, we might not be able to pull it through the lift. Let's see, though. If I do six, now we have three. I don't know. I'm not confident in that. So we'll go with a seven, like this. And, um, well, we will open it up. I don't think the ratings, yeah, they're gone. But that doesn't matter, because we know it's good. Um, how are we going to color this, though? Because it's mainly underground. Let's actually get that underground view there. I am thinking of a very, you know, eye-catching color. Because most of the time, we'll be spending... You know, above ground. So we will only see this piece over here. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It sure is eye attracting, but that is too much of it. No. Now what we can do though is this. If I, you know, inverse, invert this, and like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm seeing something over here. This could work, right? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. That doesn't go. And now we need a different color set, not blue and green. How about white and orange? Okay, not white and orange. We could go with the white and this. Maybe the other way around, though. Have this be the white. Yeah, that's a much better white. It's brighter white. I actually quite like this purple, to be honest. It fits nice with this whole, well, <laughs> Mad Revue. <Revere. laughs> Which has nothing to do with the Hoover Dam. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, we're going to go with this. Uh, we're also going to change the support color to this. That fits in good. Alright, we do need different tra different cars, though, different trains. Um, yeah, like this. Alright, good, good, good. Well, that's our coaster, really, and so much space left here that I'm actually feeling confident that we might even be able to build another coaster over here that's going to be more or less a surface coaster. Well, if I really wanted to, I could start wiggling in yet another coaster, but as you can see, that's going to be anything but easy, especially because... Well, you know, usually I keep kind of like track in my head where tra the tracks are, you know, in the 3D space. But I completely lost my orientation in that term with this track. So it's going to be a nightmare if I ever were to build more stuff in the underground here. So apart from some shallow dips in the ground, uh, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, so we might see another surface coast over here, but I don't think we'll see that right now because I'm thinking... Wait, pressure panic isn't fixed. Where's the mechanic, dudes? Pressure panics, kind of like one of our cash generating coasters. Mechanic dude, there's nobody even going on to it. Thought I had a fixed mechanic for the pressure panic. Fix mechanic. Are you the one? No, you're not the one. Are you the one? You are the one. I don't know really why you are not getting that call here. Oh, you're not answering the radio call. Alright, well maybe we need a, a loose mechanic then. I hope you won't get pathfinding issues, but that should fix uh, the... Uh, thingy right getting fixed, so, uh, at least I hope, um, yeah, and I kind of <laughs> might have uh, hit the stop record button there, but I hope you didn't notice anything, and uh, if you didn't, smooth editing, huh? Anyway, um, yeah, so that should fix that, uh, I think that, well, you know, with that done, I think the park's looking pretty damn good, I think that we're Swimming in cash, and I think that it's time that we start, you know, expanding onto here. And right now, you know, we've been going piece by piece, but I'm thinking of doing, you know, the next section as a whole so that I can open up the dam as well, which will make pathfinding for our guests a lot easier. Because right now, I'm suspect, yeah, look at that, some of them are already lost. And that's just a bad thing about this layout, you know. Uh, well, 
I was fully aware that this was going to happen. I just don't know how bad it is, really. But we will find that out next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.